G'day everyone, Sam here from Farm Lab, and today I'm going to show you how to get a really quick carbon estimate for a farm using Farm Lab Analytics. Uh, so you can see here today I've got my little demo analytics farm here. I've set it up with a few paddocks, as you can see, and um, uh, I've also got a few cadastral boundaries for this farm just for quick setup if you need it. Uh, now, what we'll be doing is running a really quick and easy uh, carbon calculation, carbon estimation for the farm using the CSIRO uh, soil and landscape or CS CSIRO look see tool. So, for those that are familiar with it, this look see tool is available by the CSIRO website, um, and it's also available through FarmLab via integration. So, to access the tool, we simply go into analytics and um, uh, which you'll ha all have access to, and it will bring up our an analytics dashboard. Now we'll go into our demo farm report, which we've set up earlier, which has a few reports already. We've got the traffic light table, and uh, we've got a carbon estimate we've run below. So what we'll do, we'll actually delete that widget, and we'll go. We're going to set up a new one. So we'll go in to create a widget. Um, we just add a new widget at the top here. Now there's a few new widgets. We'll just go through the carbon estimate today. So we'll just call this carbon estimate farm one. And uh, we'll choose the CSIRO look C widget. That's what we'll be setting up today. I'll hit OK and then scroll to the bottom of the page. I have a blank map here. So now we just need to link it to a farm. So this will read all the farms that um, you have against your farm lab account. Uh, simply hit edit configuration select the farm and in our case we have a little demo analytics farm and we have this option to include trees or exclude them so in this case we'll include trees which will uh, remove any of the tree layers that we have uh, tree cover uh, that we have for that property using the tree cover layer that we have in farm lab so that's all automated for you now and it will simply remove any any areas greater than 20 percent canopy cover so you don't have to so we can go in, we've got our cadastral boundaries, which many of you may be using for, for quick setup. So we'll select those and then we'll simply hit save. So what this is going to do is it's going to choose our farm, select these cadastral boundaries, and it's going to do a rapid carbon assessment across that area using the Look C tool. So we'll just let that load for a second. And then uh, this will now send, send, the, uh, send the boundaries across to uh, CSIRO and receive a response and there we go there. So you can see here we've got a few few details in this and on the screen here. Um, the pink areas we've removed, um, the tools removed tree cover from uh, from the surrounding areas. Uh, so you can see if I zoom right in here which you removed all this tree cover automatically for you. Um, we can see down here just how much that's removed. So we've sent, sent the tool, um, initially we had about 152 hectares worth of uh, worth of paddocks removing tree cover we have about 120 28 hectares and that's the that's the number then that we can calculate uh, potential increases of carbon costs uh, what are we seeing at the top here these, these are the values that we have back from the look c tool so we have about one percent one point eight percent carbon across as an average carbon levels across this this property here now Reality is this is just a desktop estimate. We know um, we've sampled this farm quite extensively before. We have higher carbon up the top here and lower carbon down the bottom. But as an average, 1.8% is about is about right for these two, you know, two separate parts of the farm. We also have a little histogram at the top. This shows you the uh, surrounding carbon, organic carbon percentage, or organic carbon percentage for the surrounding area. Uh, we have a, a low for uh, the area of 1.5%, this is in a 100 kilometer radius from these two polygons here, and a high of about 6.5%. So, you know, it give, gives our users a bit of an understanding as to what, um, what is achievable based on soil type, based, based on the climate in the, in the region. Now, if we go down to the bottom here, we have a few fields here um, that allow for some calculations. So, we can, we can use this and say, all right, we're at 1.8% carbon here, and let's say if, if the you know, this we wanted to get to two percent carbon. You simply input two for two percent at a depth of thirty centimeters over a project period of twenty-five years, and this will now go and estimate the amount of carbon um, uh, that could be achieved if we hit two percent. The amount of CO two abatement that we could could achieve if we hit two percent. So we have summary just here. We've got abatement um, one point one three five tons of CO2 equivalent per hectare per year, which equates to about 146 tons of CO2 
per year um, for a 0.2% increase. So really useful and helping to quickly and rapidly assess. Obviously, there are other things that are going to relate to the increase in your assumption as to what, what you might be able to achieve across this property. Um, you can set, it, set this up for one. You can have multiple properties in a single report. Uh, it's really up to you, but we've just tried to make this as rapid and as accessible um, and as easy to run as possible. As usual, if there are any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us uh, in the FarmLab team at info at farmlab.com.au. And thank you very much.